Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today we're going to do another company history profile on a medical company in the game known as Biotic Corp. Now this company really got its start in a school-sponsored lab in Rator, which is really known for its universities. And this is where they worked on hazard detection systems, which typically resulted in the students here being stuck for long periods of time in these decontamination chambers, um, you know, where their bodies and clothing ended up kind of being decontaminated from the projects they were working on. And it was in one of these long stays at the lab where the two founders of the company, Ted Santos and Dio Nicholas, um, where they initially met. Now, Dio was researching surgical robots and the effects of quantum travel on their overall precision. And while working one night when the alarms went off, she realized that one of the new-to-school um, students, who was Santos, was obviously a little bit freaked out by the alarms. So in her efforts to kind of console and comfort the new guy, she had asked Santos to explain his work to her, to which he explained the Navy was paying him to research a disease um, tied to servicemen who have spent extended periods of time out in space, a disease known as uh, Targion disease, that it really had its roots based in neurology. And Santos really kind of heard this and believed that uh, it was going to be tied to gravitational compressions. And it was immediately apparent to both of them that their research would actually end up being fairly tied together and that a partnership of sorts could end up benefiting them both. Now, the result of the partnership was a paper that was released in the Journal of Medicine explaining the ties between Santos' compression theories and Nicholas's bots not performing well during quantum rescues, meaning that we immediately saw new search and rescue protocols put into place, and the school, seeing an opportunity to make money based on all this, helped to found a new company headed up by these two, known as Bioticorp. The first commercial release was actually a software program that was allowed, um, or I guess was really designed to kind of help surgical robots to have increased precision and reliability during quantum travel, which immediately proved to reduce the number of deaths in patients who otherwise wouldn't have experienced that same fate. That success of the program meant commercial success as well, because almost every MedBot producer out there ended up adopting this program as the standard in their hardware, and they reinvested all of this profit that they made from this program back into the company to help drive it forward. Biotic Corp moved to a new facility on Rise to continue their work, and they took to partnering with the top doctors and researchers from around the empire to help add more versatility to their products, always with the goal to help people instead of really focusing on their profits. That being said, profits would start to really flow in regardless as they produce their first physical good. And that's something where we start to see more familiar products to us because they ended up making the Autodoc, which is a surgical assistance robot designed to make operations in space a little bit easier and safer. And while it isn't as fancy as some of the others in the market, they are incredibly reliable in bad situations, making them a favorite of the Navy and really anybody that ends up doing search and rescue in dangerous situations. So if you ever wake up in an Endeavor Hope, uh, chances are an Autodoc was par partially responsible for saving your life because that's kind of the standard loadout on those ships. The Autodoc also got a boon in notoriety during the attempted assassinations in Newcastle um, because due to the unrest, most of the hospitals were inaccessible, meaning that they had to find other ways to save the governor's council. The council ended up finding a Cutlass Red in a parking garage, basically out of pure luck, and the onboard auto dock facilities were credited with saving many of the high-ranking officials' lives that day. And they were considered so lucky to be alive and so appreciative of the auto docks that they attempted to end up passing legislation to make the auto docks mandatory in all government buildings. It didn't end up passing, but it was good for business. Realizing that the real key to success in diagnosing and saving people's lives is knowledge, Biotic Corp decided to start focusing on the development of their new product line, the Vitalis Pro line of scanners. And these are capable of increasing the ability of real doctors as well as the surgical assistance bots in healing and diagnosing. But there was some concern that surrounded their release because you could use them and get so much personal information about the person being scanned that there was a bit of a scare about personal information being stolen or using against people when they didn't even really know they were being scanned in the first place. Um, now, current today, there is a lawsuit regarding this topic with an effort to pass a bill that's preventing people from scanning um, those without their consent. However, the medical community is pushing back on that a little bit, stating that it makes it hard for them to service people who may be unable to consent, which may end up resulting in unnecessary loss of life. The other bit of bad press that the company got was when they tried to diversify again with the creation of a decontamination chamber that's really designed to be used at ports to prevent off-world diseases and pathogens from making landfall. Sounds like a good thing. The problem with this was that the pure life system that they created not only killed off the bad germs, but also the good microbes that helped to keep us safe, meaning that people after one month or so um, of being used here were really starting to show alarming rates of illnesses after using one of these pure life systems. 
Now the company immediately recalled everything and stopped selling the products. And while it was a bit of a hit to their overall reputation, the public still ended up holding the company in high regards based on their ethical and efficient approach in dealing with the situation, including rushing out to help people and heal all of those individuals that were impacted from these devices. As they continue to work on their new and exciting products, their next project is Calliope. And that's being headed up by a scientist named Livia Haskell, who's currently working on a full body diagnostic and surgical system that can be used to help with reconstructive and cosmetic surgeries. This system would allow people to quickly and safely change their bone and tissue structures without relying on a team of surgeons and multiple hospital visits. And if we look forward to the game, this product may end up being how we end up changing our, appear like our physical appearance of our characters if you want to change something. Or even after you've been saved, you may rely on this to regain your appearance, because we find that Haskell was motivated to create this product after suffering massive burns in a ship accident. The Navy's using this today to help heal their troops after battles and accidents, so they're not necessarily suffering through their lives with horrifying scars, um, you know, trying to provide a bit of normality back into their lives. Calliope is now entering the civilian market as well after positive results from the Navy, and the patients and products, um, you know, or I guess the patients that have been using this product really label it as life-changing. So that's kind of the history of the Biotic, uh, Biotic Corp company. After talking about several weapons and combat companies, as well as a bunch of unethical ones as well, it is kind of nice to see that there are some good ethical companies out there that are looking for the, uh, you know, kind of looking out for the public's best interest. So if you have questions on any of this, please hit the comments up. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.